Hi, thanks for joining us today for your latest Hurricane Tracker app video update recorded August 18th, 2013 at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We do have a few things still going on in the tropics. Invest 92L was de declassified by the National Hurricane Center. There's no chance of it developing, but it's going to continue to push rain up into southern Mississippi and then southern and eastern Alabama for the next 24 to 36 hours or so before it dissipates. We do have a weak tropical wave here over the southern portion of the Lesser Antilles. We'll take a closer look at that momentarily. And of course we still have Aaron out here, very weak system. It's now moving to the west, could even move towards the southwest and it should be dissipating over the next couple of days. We do have a new invest, Invest 94L, located here in the eastern Atlantic. It's a very broad disorganized area of low pressure and uh, this will be the focus of today's video update. Very quickly, here's a look at the latest advisory on Tropical Depression Air and winds at 35 miles per hour, moving to the west at 10 and should become a remnant low within the next 24 hours. All right, back over here to the eastern Atlantic. Again, we have newly de uh, designated Invest 94L. I'm gonna go ahead and put the satellite loop into motion here. Again, it's just a very broad area of low pressure, still very disorganized at this time. And we are not expecting any immediate development. If it does decide to develop, it will likely be very slow to occur. We are anticipating that uh, probably by middle to latter portions of the week, it may have a better chance to consolidate and organize. But nevertheless, we are giving this a 40% chance of development during the next five days. It is located in a favorable environment, which we will take a look at here shortly. There's only a little bit of model support at this time. And uh, of course, there's no way to know if this will impact land. This is still way too far out, several thousand miles out in the Atlantic. So right now, it's just kind of a, uh, a wait and see uh, with this system here. Right now, the computer models, uh, the GFS ensembles I wanted to show you today, most of the models are generally taking it to the west or the west-northwest and we'll just have to see if it does uh, develop if it can survive the hostile conditions that still remain out here in the open Atlantic. Here's a look at the low level vorticity. Here is the west coast of Africa. This is the general area where the wave is located so nothing really organized like you see with Aaron and this is the amount of spin in the lower levels of the atmosphere and it's still very broad disorganized but there is some vorticity and that is, is one of the reasons why this does need to be watched. This map here is the latest wind shear analysis. I will uh, draw here the coast of Africa as it's very hard to see. There's the west coast of Africa. Our invest is located in this area. Uh, the darker the color, the less wind shear. So as it moves west, it, it is in a pretty favorable environment if it decides it does want to develop. Here's a look at the water vapor imagery over the Atlantic. The uh, darker the color, the more uh, dry and stable the air is. So out here in the open uh, Atlantic, we have a very large upper level low and there's a lot of dry air out here. And you can see here's air and just really battling the dry air. So this dry air is not a good sign for uh, tropical development. But further down south, farther south in latitude where uh, Invest 94L is located, there is more moisture. So as long as the storm takes a more westerly track, I do see uh, it could be a little bit more favorable conditions than if it were to move uh, west-northwest here. The only inhibiting factor I see in the short term uh, that could cause this disturbance not to develop is the Saharan air layer. The yellow and the orange and red colors indicate uh, very dry uh, air, mainly dust that comes off of the Saharan desert and filters out here into the eastern Atlantic. Uh, here is our uh, invest down here. So you can see if the system keeps moving west, the southern end of this dust could be injected into the system. So I really don't anticipate any development until the system uh, moves a little farther westward uh, once it gets past this, uh, this dust layer. So if it does develop, uh, we believe it won't likely happen until uh, mid or, excuse me, towards the middle or latter parts of this upcoming week. 
the latest runs of the computer models are not really developing Invest 94L. Uh, this is a depiction of the GFS American model on August 26, and it basically shows a broad weak area of low pressure moving west and then west northwest, and then um, you can see the the red colors are really strong areas of high pressure. We have uh, one situated here over the western Atlantic and one over the eastern Atlantic, and the GFS is depicting a weakness in this ridge, uh, which would allow this system to move more towards the north and stay out at sea while other models such as the CMC model which I'll show you now is showing more of a uh, persistent and stronger ridge of high pressure so if the system were to develop and the CMC was correct on the upper level pattern this system would move more west in the long term but again there's many model runs to go this is very long range and uh, a lot could happen between now and uh, the next week or two so we'll keep you updated here with Invest 94L and finally, to end our video, video today, we do have a uh, very weak tropical wave here located in the western Atlantic. One of the models, the NAVGEM model, uh, is suggesting development, uh, moving it to the west-northwest and organizing it into a uh, more defined area of low pressure and then continues to move it up towards the west-northwest here. So this is likely not going to develop, but nonetheless, we are entering the heart of the hurricane season, and it is something that we will be watching. Thanks so much for joining us today for the Hurricane Tracker app video update. If you'd like to grab the app, it's available at www.hurtracker.com. Thanks so much for watching, and hope you have a great week.